This is HOI 19 News Daybreak. Accurate, balanced, to the point. Good morning, Heart of Illinois. This morning, mid-20s, a little foggy for some of you. Some light rain, even a little freezing rain out uh, in far southwestern part of our viewing area. Cloudy in the afternoon and then some scattered showers trying to work their way back in as we hit 38 degrees. It's time for Trending Tuesday, where we catch you up on everything with social media and technology. The University of California hopes to build a seismic network to track earthquakes through smartphones. MyShake is a free app for Android phones. It uses sensors inside the phone to map earthquakes happening near you. MyShake also provides information about recent and significant historical earthquakes. Another case of an exploding hoverboard, this time in northern Illinois. A family in Orland Park was inside their home when their new hoverboard was charging. Not long after it plugging it in, the hoverboard exploded. The family was able to get the board out of the house before it caused major damage. The explosion left burn marks on the floor and wall, and one of the pieces lit the shades on fire. The mother's hand also got burned. Orland Park firefighters recommend not to buy hoverboards, and if you have one, don't use it. Star Wars makes a big announcement. An Oscar-winning actress stuns at a gala in Europe, and the Queen of Pop thrills fans in Asia. These stories and more in our showbiz wrap. It's official. Filming of Star Wars Episode 8 is now underway. And in addition to Carrie Fisher, John Boyega, and Lupita mm -hmm. Nyong'o returning, some more big names in Hollywood are joining the cast, including Benicio Del Toro and Laura Dern. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Episode 8. Episode 8 is set to hit theaters next year. Speaking of stars, Charlize Theron looked absolutely stunning in Germany. The Oscar-winning actress, also famous for her work as an activist, was the guest of honor at the Cinema for Peace 2016 Gala in Berlin on Monday. Also overseas, the material girl in Asia. Oh, I love you so much. Fans ecstatic catching Madonna at the Tokyo stop of her Rebel Heart tour. Even though the opening show started two hours late, most fans gave the Queen of Pop two thumbs up. Turns out the last time Madonna performed in Japan was 10 years ago. And that's what's happening in Hollywood. Elizabeth Thurow, ABC News, New York. Mm. I know uh, something at the Grammys last night. I think Gwen Stefani, she did a live video. They taped, like, made a video. Uh -huh. during the Grammys, during her performance. They had ice uh, roller skaters and costume changes, and it was all alive, and they were filming it in the circle. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I did see part of that. Did she fall? I, I there was a skater, and there was one of the uh, roller skaters fell. I don't know if that was part of it. It didn't look like it was really part of it. I don't think it was her. Oh, okay. I think it was someone that was meant to look like her, that part while she was changing costumes. So. Gotcha. Yeah. But. Well, we'll have a wrap-up <laughs> of the Oscar, not the Oscars, the Grammys uh, coming up in just a little bit. All right, right now let's get a look at that weather as we head out the door this morning. Temperatures are starting off here in the mid-20s, and we are going to see 38 degrees later on today. So temperatures uh, get just a little bit warmer than yesterday. Cloudy, maybe a few little showers. All right, more coming up. Keep it right here.